I've had a few questions about uh, assignment number three, Delta Math assignment number three. So what I thought we'd do today is I'm going to make a video for you that will help you with assignment number three. So it'll be good for us to review the three forms of a quadratic equation. All three forms represent the same parabola, depending on uh, what your equation is. Uh, let's first look at uh, form number one, which is the vertex form. It's called the vertex form because you can see the vertex when you have an equation in this form. And your vertex, oops, wrong color, your vertex is going to be at H. K. Your x coordinate for your vertex is at h, your y coordinate for your vertex is at k. Remember the vertex is the either the lowest point of your graph when you have a parabola if it opens up or your highest point if it opens down. It's the point on the line of symmetry where the graph changes direction, where the graph changes direction. The nice thing about vertex form is you can see the vertex right there. It's HK, where H is your X value, K is your Y value. Now we also have the standard form where C, the letters, the number, whatever number is out here in the C position, that's going to be your Y intercept or the place where the graph crosses the Y axis, where the graph crosses the Y axis. So if we look at a Desmos graph, this down here would be your vertex right here and your y-intercept would be up here where the graph crosses the y-axis so let's go back now for intercept form this is y equals some number a times x minus p times x minus p where p and q are your x intercepts your x intercepts P and Q are your x-intercepts. Let's go back over to Desmos, look at a graph. Here's your P. This graph is at 1, 0, and 3, 0. So these would be your x-intercepts. Notice how your y value must be 0 where the graph crosses the x-axis. Okay. So those are your three forms of the, um, the of a quadratic equation. And we're going to now take these and look at a quadratic equation in all three forms and see over on Desmos that it in fact does look the same. When you're and let's also remember, I almost forgot about A. Oops. A is, always, is going to be present in each of our types of graphs. And the A value, or the value for A, is going to be what determines whether our graph opens up or down. Does our parabola open up or does it open down? If A is positive, the parabola is going to open up like a cup that would hold water. If the A is negative, the parabola is going to open down like an umbrella, you might say. And we'll see a little more, more about that as we go forward. Over here, I've already got on example one here, We've got the intercept form or the factored form, the vertex form, and the standard form. And I've typed out each of these forms for you already. Let's just look at our graph and see where they go. Right here we've got the for the intercept form. Let's start with intercept form. Let's put that guy in blue. We've got this point where the uh, graph crosses the x-axis and this point where the graph crosses the x-axis. And that's what we're going to see in our intercept form. These are our zeros, or our roots, or our solutions, if you will. And notice about these that the y value must be zero where this graph crosses the x-axis. The y value is one here, two here, negative one here, negative two here. But right here, the y value is zero. So each of these factors, as we saw back when we were factoring, each of these factors one at a time must equal zero. Zero times anything would make y zero. Over here, zero times anything in here would make y zero. So let's just put in what our two factors would be for this. Y equals, in parentheses, I'm going to have two values here. 
x minus and x minus my p value for my first point the value of x is 1 so 1 goes here the q value or the x value for my second point is 3 so a 3 goes here that is the intercept form for this equation y equals x minus 1 times x minus 3 let's go over to Desmos and let's put that in equals x minus 1 times x minus 3 and we have a nice red parabola and we can see right here here is our value 1 0 and here is our other value 3 0 which matches up nicely to what we have on the other page so now we go back let's look at vertex okay now in vertex form let's find our vertex there's our vertex looks like it's at 2 negative 1 so my h and my k are what's going to come into play here on this equals. Now my a, we haven't stretched or compressed this graph, so my a is just 1, so I'm not going to write a 1. x minus, my x value for my vertex is 2, so I'm going to put a 2 in here. Squared, plus, would it be plus? Did my graph go up or did it go down? My y value is a negative 1, so it's not going to be plus. It's going to be minus, minus 1. So I have a 2 and a negative 1. Let's take this over to Desmos and put it in. See, so y equals x minus 2 quantity squared. And there, see how it's down? Uh, we need to move it down minus 1. So now our red graph, or our factored form, is showing as red and then our vertex form which says yeah but this is a graph of our vertex at 2 negative 1 is in blue they're lying right on top of one another red and blue red and blue so so far so good let's go back over and see if we can find our standard form and the thing we can tell from the standard form of the equation is the c the c is always going to be our y-intercept and we see it over here at the point zero three so we know when we get our standard form, that C is going to have to be a 3. But how do we get our standard form? I think, I think the easiest way to get the standard form is to take the factored form and just multiply these factors together. Right here. X minus 1 times X minus 3. First times first. Uh, first of this group times the... We're distributing this. The first term in this group times the first term in this group. The outer, the outer terms, the outside, the negative 3 and the x, then the inner, and then the last. So it's first, outer, inner, last. It's going to give me x squared, x times x is x squared. Then outer, negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Then inner, negative 1 times x is negative 1x. And then last, negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. Now I just combine these like terms because they both have just an x with them. So I can rewrite this as x squared. Negative 3 and negative 1 is minus 4x plus 3. And this is y equals. So this is our factored, our standard form. This ax squared plus bx plus c. And we can see that our... 3, our positive 3, does in fact match our graph. So we're going to go over to Desmos and graph this and see if it's the same as our intercept form and our vertex form and our, and, and our standard form to see if all of these are the same. And they should be the exact same. Let's go check it out. x squared minus 4x plus 3. x plus 3. And look at that. Our red graph, our factored form, lies right on top of our blue graph, which is our vertex form, lies right on top of our green graph, which is our standard form. So all three of these forms do in fact result in the same exact parabola.